2,000 years ago, there was a man named Joseph, who was the son of Heli. Joseph, Joseph lived in the town of Nazareth in Galilee. Although we don't know a lot about Joseph, it was believed that he was a carpenter in Nazareth. The town of Nazareth was situated on the southern side of Low, Lower Galilee. In Nazareth, there was a, also a young woman named Mary. Mary was engaged to Joseph the carpenter. One day, while Mary was cleaning her house, the angel Gabriel came to her while she worked. There was a surprise to Mary. This was a surprise to Mary, and it confused her. But Gabriel told Mary not to be afraid. The angel said that God had found favor with her, and then the angel told her some very good news. Mary's house, Mary was pleased that she could be used as God's servant in this way. Then Mary went to visit her cousin Elizabeth in a Judean town in the hill country. Elizabeth was also expecting to give birth to a baby. Mary stayed with Elizabeth and Zechariah for about three months before she returned to her home in Nazareth. Shortly after Mary returned home, Emperor Augustus decided that a census should be taken. This happened while Quirinius was the governor of Syria. Augustus wanted everyone to go to their family towns to be registered for the census. So Joseph left Nazareth in Galilee and traveled to Judea, to the small town of Bethlehem, which is also known as the city of David. Joseph and his father Heli were descendants of King David, that's why they had to go to Bethlehem. Joseph took along his fiance, who was expecting a child.
While Mary and Joseph were in Bethlehem, the time came for Mary to deliver her baby. They tried to find a quiet and safe place to spend the night where Mary could have her baby. However, they soon discovered that all the rooms were filled. Finally, they found a stable, and they took refuge there with the creatures who already lived in that small shed. She wrapped him in bands of cloth, and she laid him in the cow manger. And just like the angel Gabriel had told her, she named the baby Jesus. Bethlehem, there were some shepherds keeping watch over their flocks of sheep on this night. As the shepherds took care of their animals, an angel of the Lord surprised them, and they were terrified. The angel told the shepherds that they shouldn't be afraid, because the angel was bringing them good news. The angel told the shepherds that on this day in the city of David, a Savior had been born, and this should bring great joy to all the people. 
The angel told the shepherds that they would find this baby in Bethlehem, wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. Then, then suddenly, many other angels joined the first, and they were all praising God and shouting, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. Once the angels left the field, the shepherds decided to go to see the baby in Bethlehem. who came to visit the new baby, but they were not the only ones who came to see what God had done. After some time, there were some astrologers who came from the east. They followed a star to find this child who was born to be the king of the Jews. As they traveled, they brought the baby very fine gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The visit of these astrologers, or wise men, to the baby Jesus helps us to understand that this baby was not just a savior for a few people, but that he was born to be the savior of everyone. God sent this baby Jesus to be the savior of the world. In this baby, we can find the love that God has for each one of us. Jesus is God's Christmas gift to the world. And the gift of this baby continues to be with us even today. God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but that through this child, the world might be saved. We believe that Jesus is God's presence with us, even now, in the bread and the wine of our communion table. The word communion comes from the Greek word koinonia. It means community or participation or a common festival. Today, as we come together to the manger again as a community to hear the story of our Savior's birth, we also come together as a community to celebrate that even today, our Savior is with us right now. The Savior born in the manger is present with our community in the bread and the wine. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks and he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again after supper he took the cup and he gave thanks and he gave it for all of them to drink saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Jesus also taught us to pray. Let us pray the prayer he taught us now. O Lord Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. 
We do believe that Jesus Christ is truly present in the elements of this meal, and we invite all believers, regardless of your denomination, to join us in the Holy Meal this morning. It is served by intention. You'll come forward down the center aisle, receive the wafer, dip it into the wine or the juice, and return to your seats using the sign. Sparkling joy and 